What is going on, Gamer Sutra family? This is your boy, Gamer Sutra, aka Clutch, man. And what I wanted to talk to you guys about was the fucking problem that we have in the Twitch, you know, Twitch TV. <laughs> I just shake my head at this shit, dude. I I wasn't going to do a video on it, but dude, it just it just ate at me and ate at me and ate at me to where I think I needed to do it. Um, basically, let's just go ahead and get right to it. I'm not going to hold no punches. I'm just going to say what I feel. I'm going to be me. I keep it 100. Let's start with Gross Gore. Gross Gore basically was on his stream. Everybody was watching. He wanted to have fun, play a prank, and told everybody in the goddamn stream that this other individual that he knew had sex with a 15 year old girl wow you say yeah yeah wow that is a big big problem just the act of loan of molesting a 15 year old child and i'm going to refer to him or her as a child because that's what he or she is is horrendous but that's not the horrendous part for me. The horrendous part for me was the guy never did it. It was a prank from Gross Gore, and Twitch banned him forever. And that is exactly what the son of a bitch deserved. Gross Gore is a piece of shit for putting uh, uh, somebody out there and lying, basically slandering the individual in front of the whole world. However many millions of thousands of views that Gross Gore gets, he slandered that individual. If I was that individual, I would go find Gross Gore, I would knock on his door, and I would punch him right in his fuck box. That's just my opinion. You know, you don't do that. You ruin people's lives by doing what the fuck Gross Gore did. I really, really honestly think that Twitch has got a serious problem with, you know, not really the freedom of speech, because people can say what they want to a certain extent. These young kids take the shit overboard and they say dumb shit. You know, you're in a position, a public figure to help people out. And that's going to segue into my next individual, DM Brandon. He's another piece of shit on Twitch. Basically, the backstory about him was one of his viewers was suicidal. He found his channel. He found the game Smite. It was helping him cope with depression. Um, it was helping him just release some of that inner thing. Now, me being a victim of depression, I found video games to help as well. DM Brandon, you berated him on your fucking stream calling him an asshole and a piece of shit well sir you are the fucking asshole you sir should be banned as well you sir should be you know all the revenue that you make to pay for your uh bmws or your mercedes or your porsche whatever the fuck you drive should go to him you know, you don't understand. You said in your stream that everybody has depression. Well, sir, you make a lot of money. You pay your bills. You'll never know what it's like, yada, yada, yada. And I could be wrong. You could grow up with anything. But there is people out there that are way off than you. You don't hear them complaining. This dude, you chose. L let me back up. You chose that route to be a public figure. You chose to do that. And it, to me, I understand that he, you know, maybe he should have came about it a little different way. Or maybe you were even having a bad day. I don't really know. But to be honest, you chose that profession. You chose to do that. You chose to take people's money in the way that you do for playing a video game. Dude, all you had to do was just be a little bit, be a little bit respectful and, you know, um, you know, and, and, and encourage him. He found a game that he likes to get rid of whatever the problem he's going through. Maybe, maybe he's had some traumatic shit that's happened in his life that he doesn't know how to cope with. That's just my stance on those two. Now, <laughs> what you're seeing on screen right about now is legendary Leah. She basically was on Twitch the other day. And she just let the roast beef sandwich just hang the fuck out. I'm talking about just 
flat out pussy lips, just the whole nine. Basically, she didn't know that she did it, or maybe she did, I'm not really sure. But one of the, and I'm going to put this tweet on the screen as well, um, it basically says that, uh, you know, from a, a, a Twitter handle, General Tuber, basically he was saying that, you know, he doesn't mind what she does on cam, but these females on Twitch are out of control, dude. With the lingerie and the flirting, the game is one-tenth the size of the, of, of the fucking, their screen. They're just out of control, you know, and it's got to be stopped. Kids you know under 18 it's not a, a, a an adult website it's it's not for that you know and and you know he basically says i don't mind your channel but he does mind the nudity that took place she responded back like i said it wasn't nudity you just want it to be nudity uh bitch are you that far fucking off your fucking rocker that we don't know what two fucking pussy lips look like and that that's the issue that i have nobody wants to take uh, um, nobody wants to take responsibility for their own actions next tweet you're going to see for the record thighs equal vag sorry I had to stand in an awkward way so basically let me break this down she's thinking her thighs are that fucking big and look like roast beef she's calling that thighs come on now she says she's got an ankle injury. Boy shorts were underneath. Guys, if you want to see the video, you, you can find it. I'm not putting it on my channel. I'm not getting a strike. But the problem, <laughs> the problem is, is nobody wants to take responsibility. How in the world can she sit here and say that it wasn't pussy? It wasn't pussy lips. That makes no sense to me. You know, they're all over Twitch. And I'm not saying that every female on that website does this, but there is a lot of them, man. You know, and think about the hard-earned money that probably husbands or boyfriends are watching these, these girls do this, playing a game, and they're paying money to them in donations. Come on, man. That I can't get down with. I mean... You know, and, and I understand people make a business, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, by doing this in gaming, and I understand that. But you have a responsibility to yourself, to the gaming world, and to, you know, what you do to the fans. You have a responsibility to those three, you know, the business, you know, gaming in general, yourself, and your fans, to be legit. You know, there's no moral. You know, Twitch is a goddamn war zone right now. People trying to get views and people taking this and doing that and, you know, spreading rumors about people. It, it, it makes no goddamn sense to me. You know, we're all gamers, man. We all love to do what we're doing. You're, you're putting yourself in that position to make it to where, you know, that's what you do to bring income to your house. Treat it like that. Guys, that's all I got, man. I appreciate you swinging by my channel. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.